After quite a few delays, the red hydrogen one should finally be available to purchase through AT&T and Verizon on November 2nd. And ahead of this, the Verizon bound variant has leaked out in a new image that once again showcases the design and also reveals some carrier bloatware. In regards to what can be expected internally from the red hydrogen one, the smartphone will, unfortunately, be powered by the aging Snapdragon 835, Qualcomm has since released the Snapdragon 845 and will announce the 855 in December. This processor will be coupled with 6 GB of RAM and up to 128 GB of internal storage. Also, it looks set to ship with the now outdated Android 8.1 Aria straight out of the box. Completing the package will be a hefty 4,510 mAh battery. When it comes to the Red Hydrogen 1, it's a little difficult to say with certainty what is the main selling point, other than the phone looks to be different compared to the current flagship crop. This has been interpreted so far with a focus on the camera and display capabilities of the phone, and these are somewhat related. For example, while the Red Hydrogen 1 comes with a 5.7-inch display, it's also said to be a holographic display, accompanied by multidimensional sound, in addition to a display that has been further tweaked to better cater to virtual reality, VR, augmented reality, AR, and mixed reality experiences. Speaking of the hologram slash 3D images it can display, these are understood to be primarily viewed, though they can be accessed via other ways as well, through the Red Player app which can be seen on the home screen in the image above. The wider implications for the holographic display is an increase in the immersive nature of movie watching and gaming, as well as any additional apps that can find a way to utilize the unique properties of this display. As for the cameras, these link to the display through the 3D element as in addition to displaying 3D images, the Red Hydrogen One is also capable of capturing 3D images as well. That said, that's only one of the odd camera features, as it's also understood the Red Hydrogen One will adopt some form of a modular nature where either the user can swap out and upgrade the camera, or more simply add a more advanced camera to the existing setup as an attachment. In either case, the general understanding is the camera the phone ships with will not be the limit of the camera capabilities of the phone. This exact point is why the Red Hydrogen One is understood to come with those ridges shown in the image above. As in addition to providing a more unique look, the ridges can act as an improved grip for when more serious camera hardware is attached. Speaking of attachments, it's also expected the Red Hydrogen One will offer additional and non-camera module-like hardware which can also be attached to the device to improve various elements like battery life, although the Red Hydrogen One is expected to arrive powered by a fairly substantial 4510 mAh capacity battery. Attachments will affix to the smartphone via the contact pins shown on the rear of the device in the image above. Future sounding features aside, and if all information is to be believed, then under the hood is likely to be where the red hydrogen one falls down a little. As this is understood to be a device that only barely keeps up with the competition. This is most evident in the SOC department where it's expected the Red Hydrogen One will come loaded with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. Something thought to be the result of the longer than expected time it's taken for the device to arrive to the market. Although it's possible Red might upgrade the SOC prior to the actual release. In either case, the Qualcomm SOC will come accompanied by 6 GB of RAM, up to 128 GB of storage, and running on Android 8.1, Aria, although the OS version is also something that might be subject to change prior to the phone's general release. As for the price, the Red Hydrogen One will set early supporters back $1,295. This is not only the early price for the phone but also the price for the cheapest option, with the company expected to offer an even more premium material-based option for a higher price.